The S&P 500 index has been on a year-long trend up to record highs. Historically, the fourth quarter has been a boom, returning almost 4% on average since World War II, and typically the rally continues into the first quarter of the following year. Equity bulls must keep in mind these three factors. First, the Fed's decision to cut rates throughout the year will likely to continue to play a key role in the S&P's performance the rest of the year. As investors and funds move away from low-rate fixed income, they'll likely flee towards equities and potential higher returns. Second, the ongoing trade issue with China may be the most significant factor in determining where the S&P will land at the end of the year. Despite the day-to-day -day uncertainty, the S&P has continued to climb and could remain relatively unaffected unless talks break down and tensions start rising again. Third, the overall global economic landscape will be a significant contributor to the S&P's fourth quarter performance. When the yield curve inverted in August, economists and investors noted that the inversion has been a consistent predictor of each recession over the past 50 years.